Hey guys, welcome back to another AFK Arena video, and in this video, we are here on one of the faction accounts that I have not touched in ages, and I said I would get back to them eventually. Well, here we are. Um, the other day I sat on call with a friend for, like, hours, and I pushed the Mauler account as far as I could, and we went from chapter, I think it was like 10-32, all the way here, 18-11. Here's our hero roster. We've got one star Satrana. We've got Ascended Tiranasta. We've got all of these non mauler heroes that we're just using for the level ups. But we've got Awakened Brutus now. That, it, it's just amazing. I cannot wait until I can buy my time emblems every day. And I can just start power leveling that Awakened Brutus. That is going to be just so awesome. And look at this. We've also got Titus the Chicken. We've got Scrag. We've got a few copies of Kren as well. So I did the um, Fight of Fates. The um, I did all the challenge quests. So we have 10 Stargazer cards. Our Stargazing priority right now is Alna. So let's see if we can get a copy of Alna. Dang it, no copies, but that is completely fine. Let's do this summon, no elite. Dang, it's just screwing us over hard right now. All right, let's just get into the ascensions. There we go. How much fodder do I have? We can take Lucius to Mythic Plus. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, you know what? We'll go with these two. Lucius goes to Mythic Plus, and soon he'll be at Ascended, which will be really nice. It'll be closer to another Select Summon. I'm just gonna love that. Um, let's see, Wilders, Not Enough Fodder, and Graveborn. We're working on Shamira and the Graveborns. <gasps> Excuse me. Shamira's got plenty of copies. All right. Um, let's see. The gift cart. I've only got 22 of these. We've been trying to get as many red chests as we can. Because of Awakened Brutus, we're going to need like 1,350 red chests to get him maxed out. So I'm trying to get red chests just stockpile the red chests. We need as many red chests as we can get. And even in the labyrinth shop, I don't think I can get red chests in the labyrinth shop yet. But when I can, I will be buying so many red chests. Just absolutely as many as I can. Um, let's see, even in the challenger store, when I unlock the ability to buy red chests, I'm going to be buying red chests. So, I don't think, really, even with the Salaki trial, I think I'm still a little hard stuck right here. Salaki has been so important in this push. It's like crazy. Salaki is an incredible, incredible support hero. I'm going to be doing videos on Salaki soon. But, I don't really think I can push campaign much anymore. I should have saved a few stages for when I decided to do this video on the Mauler account, but I didn't. So, let's see. Can I level up Shamira? We can level up five times. So, we're trying to get the crystal to 160. That's the current goal. Um, and since I can't really... Let's do the Twisted Realm. Um, this is pretty much the team that I've been running in Twisted Realm as of right now. I'm considering, just for the furniture and the Twisted Essence, not limiting myself to only Maulers in Twisted Realm. I'm considering it. Let me know what you guys think. Should I do that or should I not? Um, but yeah, that's what I've been heavily considering. 
because that allow us to get more twisted essence, more poke coins. Just it allow us to power level the account even more, and that's what I want. I want to power level the maulers. To be honest, I've been considering only you know restricting campaign to mauler only, so I can push King's Tower. I can push just every other game mode, you know? I've been considering it. You guys let me know what game modes should I allow myself to use things outside of Maulers, and what game modes I shouldn't. Of course I'm using Celestials and Hypogeans, but that's one of the rules I said at the beginning of the faction accounts, is that I would be able to use Celestials, Hypogeans, and Dimensionals. But at this point, I think I might limit Dimensionals when it comes to like campaign and stuff. Maybe. I'm thinking about it. I'm just thinking about how I want to do this account. Like I said, let me know what you guys think I should do. There we go. We get another three summon scrolls. That allows another ten pull. Let's get this one. There we go. Mauler Estrelda. We'll take an Estrelda. We're gonna need light bearers for our light bearer tower. But yeah. Like I said, let me know where you guys think I should be able to... Because I know for the Mauler account, I'm only using Maulers in campaign. That's it. Um, but outside of campaign, I'm wondering what game modes I should allow myself to use the rest of the factions in. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to start working through this labyrinth. And that'll pretty much be the rest of the video, I think. So here we go. We start the labyrinth. Look, Awakened Brutus is just absolutely decimating. I know the other heroes are too, but look at the damage on a legendary tier Awakened Brutus. Doing more than an ascended tier Anasta. That's higher level than the Awakened Brutus. Um, look, look at my Elder Tree. I decided... To go for mage towards the beginning, because that's where my carry Citrana is. Don't ask why I use Citrana as a carry. I don't know, personally. I just... The reason why I use Citrana as a carry is because in the extremely early chapters of the game, I got eight copies of Citrana, and I managed to get her ascended before chapter 10. Then I just grabbed a star on her, and now she's ready for engravings whenever. But yeah, I'm working on a, a star on a Nasta. I wanted to show you. Um, here is my wish list. We've got Salaki, Antandra. You've got Screeth, Kren, and a Nasta. And then for the furniture, we can do a ten pole. Let's do a ten pole. We get a mythic. Nice. It's for the chicken, which chicken isn't at ascended, so that's not really too helpful. But it is what it is. So we've got Satrana, Anasta. We've got Awakened Brutus, we've got Kren, Antandra, Skreg, Chicken, Salaki, and Warwick for Maulers, and then we've got Alna. Like I said, I'm stargazing Alna, because once Alna hits Ascended with that 9 of 9 furniture, we can give immunity to one of our Maulers for our main team. And then afterwards, after Alna... I'll probably start building Lucretia for when we get two team battles. But for now, Alna's pretty much all I need. So we're stargazing for Alna. Um, and my idea is if I hit Ascended Tier Awakened Brutus before I hit Ascended Tier Alna, which is highly, highly unlikely. But if it happens, I'll grab the star on Awakened Brutus... And then I'll go back to gazing Alna, and then I'll get the stars on Awakened Brutus. The rest of the stars. Because I do plan on doing what um, Furry Hippo Gaming is doing with his faction accounts, just absolutely maxing out the Awakened Heroes. In fact, that's my priority with these accounts. All the red chests are going to go into Awakened Brutus until his um, signature item is maxed out. And then I'll start doing other plus 30 signature items. I know it's probably not optimal, but that's what I want to do. That's just what I want to do. 
Um, and then engravings, um, same thing. We'll go um, all the way up to engraving 100 on Awakened Brutus. And then, after his engraving is maxed out, we'll start working on others. Like Anasta, Kren, Antandra, Drez, things like that. That's just what I want to do. But yeah, just look at that. I plan on soon after um, picking up this Mauler account, soon after this, I'm going to start working on the Wilder account next. Just because I need Awakened Solus. Awakened Solus is an absolute just monster in Curse Realm. So I need that Awakened Solus. So Awakened Solus and the Wilder account will come next after the Mauler account. And then I'm not really sure who I'm going to do next. I'm really not sure. Do I want to go Thane? Do I want to go Baden? Who knows? But yeah. We're starting to work on our faction accounts again, like I promised. I didn't forget about them. Just, yeah, I didn't forget about them. I'm gonna keep going. Look at this. Awakened Brutus is just doing absolute damage, you know? And just, like I said, think, the more I get him build out, built out, the more damage he's gonna do. Even at that legendary plus, it's gonna give it more survivability, more damage. Look at that. Incredible. And then after he gets more damage and more survivability, imagine when we get his signature item. We unlock another... Well, we... Uh, we upgrade another skill. He has all of his skills unlocked. But we start upgrading that next skill. He's gonna do so much more damage. He's gonna have a little more survivability. Just... I, I just can't wait. I've been thinking about it constantly. Just trying to push to like i think it's chapter 20 or chapter 21 where you can buy your time emblems every day i've just been thinking i push to that chapter i start buying my time emblems every day we get to start building out the awakened brutus and then things are just gonna you know fall into place you know it's gonna be great I, I can't wait. I seriously can't wait. And then I can start working on other faction accounts. Things will start far, falling into place there. And don't worry, I didn't forget about that shared account that I have. Um, I'm going to get back to that account, I think, very, very soon. I need to do those um, Salaki testing videos, and then I'll hop back on that account. I've been checking in every once in a while, but I need to get back on that account. I need to start contributing way more than I have been. Way, way more than I have been. I haven't been contributing much at all, which I need to contribute more. So, yeah. I've got plans. Things are going to be exciting. I can't wait for Salaki. This Salaki trial is amazing. But when I build Salaki on this account, it's going to be amazing. I, I'm just excited for the future of my accounts. And um, something that I've kind of been doing is on my main account, I've just been spending resources as I get them. I'm thinking since my main account is the furthest along, it gets tons and tons and tons of resources compared to my other accounts. I'm going to like save my resources on that account. And then, like, once a week, I'll do a video where I spend them. I try to, I don't know, push the tower a little bit. Maybe push campaign a little bit. Something like that. I might start doing that, to be honest. I think it sounds like a good idea. And on my main account, I'm working on getting the Awakened version of Solus to Mythic at the moment. I'm one copy away from Mythic. And then once she's at Mythic... I'm considering either A, continuing building her and bringing her to that Ascended tier, or B, starting work on Awakened Brutus. Because 
just look how powerful Awakened Brutus is. Then again, if I really need Awakened Brutus, I can just build him out on this account, and then borrow him out on my main. I can always do that if need be. But, yeah. We're making major, major progress on our accounts. I... I'm just very proud of the work I've put into this account. Even though I haven't touched it in months. It's still just, yeah. And Awakened Brutus died, but that's okay. I suppose we can... I... I suppose I probably shouldn't have put him in the front row, but, you know, it is what it is. Probably should have put her in the front row, to be honest. We'll go with Awakened Taylor as a replacement. But, yeah. I'm just excited. Very, very excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Um, I'm also wanting to save up my money to get a laptop so that I can start doing AFK Arena live streams with you guys. That would be amazing. I would absolutely love to do that, to be honest. Because you guys could give me, like, feedback on my account as I'm playing. It, it'd just be great, you know? Like I said, I can't wait. This is all sorts of fun. I, I just love AFK Arena. Yeah. I, I think that's obvious. Um, here we are. We're almost... Oh, Salaki died. Why'd Salaki die? Oh, I think it might have been the Kelthar. Just make sure Salaki doesn't die. Please don't die. Get the Thorin down before the Kelthar... No! You know what? It's fine. We'll use a Durist here, okay? It's fine. See, we would have... Yeah. Durist here time. Oh. Okay. So, with the Durist here, we're gonna put in Awakened Brutus. Where's Salaki? Where did Salaki go? Wait, did my trial run out? No, it didn't. Then why didn't Salaki get revived? Unless he did, and I'm just not seeing it. Durst tears. Um. Does that? It doesn't revive my. Okay, then. That's. Wow. I didn't know that, and I wasted like. A tear. That's not good. Anyway. <laughs> I I guess I didn't I didn't know that like those trial heroes and borrowed heroes and stuff like that don't revive with tears. I didn't know that. I really didn't know that. But yeah. We're like one stage and then the boss. Alright, here goes. And after, um, just, just let me know, what do you guys think I should be building on this account? Like, do you think I'm building the right heroes at the moment? Do you think I should be building other things instead? Let me know. I'm genuinely curious. What's your guys' feedback? Like, if there's anything you'd recommend me build instead of what I'm currently building, I'll think about it. I'll definitely think about it. Because I want to know what you guys think I should be building instead of what I'm currently building. But yeah. That's another two red chests. Slowly and slowly getting closer to being able to build out that Awakened Brutus. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.